Next up on this episode, we're gonna mount the rear end that we rebuilt, you can see in a previous episode, and get this thing on the chassis. But first, let's make sure we got all the parts to do that. Again, planning ahead, making sure you got everything will save you a lot of frustration. And if you might need to order something, like I just figured out I did, you can get it ordered. So with the factory five kit, we've got everything we need for the traction control lock. This bracket mounts to the, to the Mustang 8.8, .8, which we'll do in a minute. And the upper control arms, which were the late, these actually just came in yesterday from factory five. But then I realized, remember we took the bushings out of the 8.8 .8 rear end. Now I gotta put new bushings in. So we gotta order those, get those on the way. And the quad shock mounts, we got all the hardware for the quad shock, including the restraining straps. I need some new quad shocks, because remember we chunked the old ones, because those things are beat. So we almost got everything, but doing a check, getting it laid out, going through your manual, going through your sheets that your, all your boxes come with, you verify you don't have everything. But we got enough to get started, and let's get it going. All right, installing the lower traction control bracket with the supplied hardware. Before we torque this down, we're gonna put this shock bolt through so it aligns with the hole through the back of the bracket. Get your hammer. Now we'll torque this down to about 50 to 70 uh, foot pounds. So I'm gonna pick about 65 and torque this down. Side. Next up is the factory five lower control arm, which is pretty nice. This is an upgrade for what you see in the manual. We'll make sure the Zert fittings are down, and obviously so you can read factory five. The two holes here, one, the bottom hole is for more traction, so we're going for more traction. Yeah, really, there's a little bit of a gap there. I didn't like it. So I think though, when we're tightening it down, the bracket will tighten it up. And it's like 80 foot pounds. Okay, now we got the lower control arms on. We're gonna go ahead and put it in position and attach it to the frame. I do need the upper control arms to completely attach it, and then the coilovers, and of course, our quad shots. So let's see if we can slide in a position to at least get it out of the way. Unfortunately, my phone battery died when I was wrestling this thing in position. Um, I would tell you, it's hard by yourself. That's all there is to it. So we're gonna to torque these to 72 to 80 pounds. Okay, we got these upper rear end bushings for the upper control arms in. So I ordered a special tool to put those in, but I'm not waiting on it because I want to get this rear end complete, which includes, you can see I already beat that one in on the right side, beating this left one in, hooking up the upper control arms, hooking up the shocks. Now I ordered a quad shock, but we're gonna see it. You know, most people say you don't really need the quad shock. So we're gonna hold off on that. Let's just get this rear end up, up in the air, and then we'll work on the fuel tank. Okay, now we got that in. We gotta maneuver the rear end up so it fits the upper control arm because it's sitting too far forward. So we gotta jack it up, see if we can get that sucker squeeze in. Got these bushings installed, got the upper control arms put in place. Uh, it's about 82 foot pounds torque here. These are three quarters. All the hardware was provided with upper control arms from Factory 5. So there we go, she's in place. Now we're gonna put the struts in. 
Like we did the front, you have to assemble your struts, which is pretty simple. It's exactly like the front. These are a little bit longer, so you know when you're using the right ones. And you use a 350 pound spring for back here. So the fronts mount, I believe so, body up. So we'll do the same thing here. Yeah, both of them will be body up. If you have a clearance issue, you can mount them body down. The other key thing is, is that Factory 5 doesn't send you the spacer hardware you need here. Or, you know, I can't find the right bolts either. Uh, they say to use the factory stuff uh, from, the, from your donor. Well, the donor didn't have a spacer. At least I don't remember, and I didn't see it in the videos. So you gotta go down to Ace Hardware, get you a four and a quarter bolt, and then get you some spacers. They have them in the little drawers. And then we'll fit this thing in here. So we got the spacers right. We'll be good to go. Oh, you gotta add a washer too in here. So it's a washer, I think it's an inch spacer. The strut. The other spacer that I dropped. And a washer. Do the bottom. There's a ride height decision to make here. When we put the lower control arm, we put it on the lower setting, which makes the ride height lower. So here we want the same situation because we really do want the car to be low. Very little clearance is the look we're going for. Don't want it jacked up in the air with a big old perky butt. So we're going to move this to the upper mounts and give us more, get us lower to the ground. Now connecting the lower strut, remember earlier we put in this bolt to hold the bracket in place and it actually kind of got stripped. And then there's these little nuts in the kit that you use for the backside. You also need another spacer that wasn't provided. So you, that spacer goes against the axle. Uh, so it pushes it out a little bit more in line for the geometry. So we got to jack up the rear end and get this installed. I bought one new quad shock, and this is the original mount. It's you know, orange. Uh, you can clearly see how it would not work, even if I mount the body the other way. It's going to foul up with this, the shock. So this is really for wheel hop on a heavier car, like your Mustang. And I did not have these on my last one, and I did not have any problem. So we're going to just send that back to American Muscle. Thank you very much for letting me borrow it for this video, and let's hook up the strap. Last piece of installing our solid axle four link rear end is the axle strap, which is basically supposed to prevent the rear end from binding the drive shaft if you achieve airborne status. And if you do that, you're freaking nuts. But anyway, right now with the jack removed, this is at its bottomed out. So I want a little slack in it. So I'm gonna attach it to these holes below where the row bar goes. And then the quad shock mount that was left on the rear end from the 04 Mustang donor has a couple of holes here where it mounted to the car. We'll use the bottom one of those. Gives us just a little bit of slack. And the hardware I'm using here is actually the hardware that came for the quad shot mount. Since we don't use, need that, we're not gonna use that. We're gonna use it for this. And it looks like I need to ream out the hole on the axle here because of the powder coating. We'll do that, get it mounted, and. Hey, we're gonna be friends with the rear end. That's the four link rear end completely installed using Factory 5's lower and upper control arms and the rear end we built out of the donor. So this thing's ready to rock and roll after I finish building the rest of the car, which we're on to now. On to the next thing. Here we go, out with the olds. The really olds. Whew, I'm sure relieved. Much better already. <laughs>